All right, guys, observe and learn. We are playing with probability, the basics of probability. And we are asked to find what the probability is when we take a die or a dice and we roll it once. We want to find what the probability is of getting a two. And then we're going to work out what the probability of getting a four or a five. But first, let's start to understand the formulas we use in probability in order to reach these outcomes. So first of all, we've got this really large formula across here. There's lots of words up here, so I'm going to read it to you. Now, every time we roll a dice, that's called an event. Sometimes it's referred to as a happening, an action, or a deed. But for the sake of probability, most often, and most textbooks prefer to use the word event. So the probability of an event equals, on the top, the number of favorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. So what does that mean exactly? Well, the favorable outcomes is an event that matches the outcome or the expectation. And the possible outcomes is also referred to as the sample space. They're all the possible results that are available, available to you. So, for example, if we look at this formula right over here, it's the probability of an event equals the number, the number of matches to that event. For example, the number of favorable matches to that event. And they can be outcomes over the number of possibilities of that outcome. And that's also referred to as the sample space. So let's take a closer look at a die right over here. Now we're going to take that and we're going to roll it once. That's the event. When we roll it, we know a, a die is actually got six faces because it's a cube. So we're going to have how many possibilities? We're going to have six possibilities. So on the bottom here, the total number of possibilities for a die is going to be six. And that's the first place that we always go to. And we write up that sample space. So let me do that now for you. So the sample space, let's call it SS, equals, and inside the sample space, we're going to have the six faces. So we write down each face and what the score is for each one. So it's going to be, there's one, 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 two, there's one, three, one, four, one, five, and of course, one, six. And that's the possible outcomes from the event of rolling a dice. Now, it's also referred to as the sample space, as I mentioned earlier. What we want to do now is use that so we can determine the first part of the question, which is what's the probability of throwing a two? Now, if you take a closer look, throwing a two, if you look at this die here, right over here, you see throwing a two, that's just one face. One face of a total of six faces. So on the top, the number of favorable outcomes is going to be one. There's only one face that contains the two. So the probability of throwing a two equals one. Remember again, one face contains the number two over the total sample space or the total possible outcomes, which is, of course, six. So that's the probability of throwing a two. Now let's check out throwing the probability of a four or a five. So let's write that up. Probability of a four or a five. That's going to be two faces, isn't it? We got the four face and we got the five face. So that's two out of a possibility of six. And always in probability, we want to simplify to the best possible answer. So two over six, as you know, your fractions equals 